Let us start by learning about the list of period of rotation and revolution of the planets. A list of period of rotation and revolution of the planets is given on the basis of Earth's timings. With the help of this table, answer the following questions. So, here you have a list of the planets and the time they take to have the rotation and revolution. Okay, so here for example, Mercury takes 59 Earth days to complete one rotation on its axis and 88 Earth days to complete one revolution. So you can think of it as this, the first column here is the duration of one day on that planet and the second column here is the duration of one year on that planet. Okay, now let us answer these questions. Which planet takes the least time to complete one revolution around the sun? Why? So let us look at the timings. The year of Mercury is only 88 days. When you consider the other planets, it's much more than that one. Okay, so why is it that Mercury takes the least amount of time? It is because Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. So, Mercury takes least time because it is closest to the sun. Because it is closest to the sun, the orbit size is very small when compared to other planets. Okay, so this is why Mercury takes the least amount of time. Next question is, which planet takes the most time to complete one revolution around the sun? Again, let us take a look at these. Here, you can see that Neptune take 165 years to complete one revolution. Okay, so this means Neptune takes the longest time or the most time to complete one revolution. So, Neptune takes most time because it is because it is farthest from the sun. Because it is so far away from the sun, its orbit size is very large when compared to the other planets. That is why Neptune takes the most time to complete one revolution. Let us move on to the third question. Which planet takes more time to complete one rotation than its revolution. So, one of the planets that they have given here, it takes longer to complete one day than to complete one year. So, how can that be? If you look closely here, Venus, it takes 243 days to complete one rotation, but it takes only 225 days to complete one revolution. This is because Venus spins very slowly on its axis. That is why Venus is that planet that takes more time to complete one rotation than one revolution. Good. Now, let us move on to the next section. Here, they have given us features of some of the planets and we have to mention which of the planets they are. Let us start with the first one. So the question is, which planet is the red planet? You can take your time to think about it if you need. The answer for this one is Mars. Mars is the red planet because it is red in color. It gets that name or it gets the color because of iron oxide that is present in the soil. So I will show you the picture of Mars once again. This is Mars. You can see how it looks red in color. Now, the second question is, which is the brightest planet? So, this planet is also called as morning star, evening star or silver star. The answer is Venus. So, Venus is the brightest planet in the sky. This is because we have understood that Venus has an atmosphere that traps heat. That is why it is the hottest planet and thus it appears very bright. 
next the next question is which is the biggest planet the answer is jupiter so jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system and you have learned that it is so big that it can fit in nearly 1300 earths inside it okay so this is the jupiter and it is the biggest planet next which is the blue green planet you might get confused between uranus and neptune so uranus is actually blue green whereas neptune is bright blue in color okay so i will show you uranus this is uranus as you can see it is blue green in color next question is which is the only planet that has life so as we all know earth is the only planet that has life so this is our earth it's the only planet in the solar system that has life next question let us write the answer for this one first so the next question is which is the planet where its day is longer than its year day is longer than its year means the time it takes to complete one rotation is greater than the time it takes to complete one revolution so this is venus we have just learned that venus takes more time to complete a rotation than it needs to complete a revolution okay so this is the answer for the sixth question now let us move on to the next activity identify the names of the planets in the grid given below so i will teach you how to do three you can do the rest of them they have already done done jupiter let us start in order so the first one is mercury you can go on searching for m's in this puzzle and you can find here m e r c u r y so that is mercury next let us search for venus are you able to find it you should search for v so here is venus next let us see if we can find earth so we have to search for the letter e correct so here is earth so you can do the other planets including mars jupiter they have already done so mars saturn uranus and neptune i will leave that one for you now let us move on to the next section here you have to closely observe the planets and write which planet they are okay so let us start with the second one you can see here that this planet looks very bright in color so we have learned that venus is the bright planet so this one is venus next the third one you can see that it is sea, sea green in color or blue green in color. That is why this planet is Uranus. Next, this planet is very familiar to us. It is our own planet. It is Earth. Next, we can see the bright blue planet. This one is Neptune. Let's write it properly. Neptune okay next we have a red planet so this planet is mars because we know mars is the red planet next we have another big planet so as you can see it is the biggest planet in the eight which is the biggest planet in the eight is jupiter so do not get confused by seeing the rings don't think it is saturn Saturn also has rings, but Saturn has more rings than Jupiter. Also, Saturn is smaller than Jupiter. Next, we have the smallest planet, which is Mercury. Okay, so that is the end of this module. I will see you all in the next module.